Well, welcome back for our Metro Council conversation today. And Councilman Rick Blackwell joins us. So he represents District 12, of course, which includes Pleasure Ridge Park and parts of Riverport, Valley Station, and the Shively neighborhoods. So we want to start out, Rick, you wanted to talk about Romania Drive that's in your district. This is a really interesting story to me. It's a great story. Okay. It is a great story. So um, years ago, um, we had some neighbors that were living on Romania come to one of my coffees mm -hmm. and say, you know what, we, what's the process for getting our road paved? Well, and you're the, like, you, have a, you live on a gravel road? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. And so you think, immediately you think, in order to transfer a road over to the city and for the city to continue maintaining, it's got to be up to code. Right. So you think, well, then you have to get it paved and transfer it to us. Well, we went, we, we kept looking at it though because they said they thought it was a public road already. Hmm. Didn't seem to be. Yeah, but we're looking we, at that area right yeah, now. So we did, okay. some, we did some research, uh, county attorney's office uh, did some research and found that indeed it was transferred over to the city years ago wow. before we had those requirements. And so uh, we just had assumed because of gravel road it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a public road, but it was. And so then we went into the process of, you know, now you're, like when someone calls and says they want to get the road paved, it's one thing if you already have a paved road, right. <laughs> that's not so expensive, but to start from scratch is pretty wow. expensive. So, and we had to get MSD involved because it didn't have drainage on the sides and so on. So it was a, it was a major project, but we are really, really excited to say that uh, it, has, it, it has been paved. Yeah, awesome. it's, an, it's, a, it's a good story. Okay, well, very good. Yeah. And uh, yeah, who knew that there were still gravel roads owned by the city? That might have been the last one. We're hoping it is. I, okay. think, I, I know it is in District 12. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we want to talk about the flock cameras that have uh, gone up. We heard about them coming, like yeah. 26 new cameras to help deter crime right. in so, the area. Yeah, so uh, Councilwoman Fowler and I have worked on uh, adding some some 28 actually some mm -hmm. 20, 28 cameras to the already the stock that LMPD has in the south end yeah. uh, of these slot cameras and we know now uh, after seeing them in, in service for a, a year or so that uh, actually a couple of years now that they really are an effective tool both for uh, crimes uh, you know, immediately with mm -hmm. crimes as well as for uh, detective work. And you're hoping being... street racing, of course, a lot of we, crimes. I mean, we yeah, have the shooting at a lot the of things. PRP football yeah, game. There's yeah. all kinds so, of things, but. Yeah, anytime that you have a vehicle involved, and so if, if it's called into the police and the police have, have the report, then, you know, these, these cameras are constantly taking the uh, the image of the car, just its make, model, and license number. Okay. And so if you had a stolen car, for example, it would immediately go to the police officers on duty that wow. the stolen car just passed this flat camera at the corner of whatever street it might be. So it really does help out when we are short on police officers. It does, and that's what we're doing. Is What, what we hope to do is, to, as much as we can, to use technology to uh, to help stretch the police mm -hmm. officers and allow them to be able to do their job more effectively mm -hmm. in the in, you know in the midst of having fewer police officers, we can't just constantly say, "Hey, we've got fewer police right. officers. We got to figure out ways to help them do their job better." And okay. this is one of those ways. All right. Well, Councilman, thanks for being here. Thank you. We appreciate it, and we Thank know you'll be back to talk again about your community. So thanks so much. Absolutely. Thank All you right. for having me. And.